pull some prison time, but he's dead. His mom's only son over a girl. You know, I, I watched you walk around. Every person that's sitting out there that watches those videos sees you walking all around the bar. I mean, you're in the no, in the smoking section. You're walking all through. You're walking up by the DJ like you're a man on a mission. You're looking. And I haven't heard testimony that you weren't much of a kind of a bar fly before that. According to the gr girlfriend, you rarely went to bars. I think you were there that night to shoot Coop. I think that was the plan all along. I don't think Coop even had a gun. And, and of course, we'll never know that anyway, but it, it's one of those kind of things that I'm thinking of, well, well, is this a little bit mitigated second degree murder? Uh, you know, I, I could consider your assault of history over in the jail. There's lots, of, I, I appreciate that the jail does that. Frankly, we're getting some better behavior. And you, you had a heck of a stack of them over there, and I'm sure it's not a very nice place to stay. But I, that's not something I'm considering part of my sentence. I don't even know if that's proper. I haven't seen an appellate decision that says that is. But what I, what I am doing is I'm sentencing you to the max of count one second degree murder, 25 years to 50 years in the Department of Corrections with 222 days. Count two, weapons, felony, firearm charge, two years. You've already got 730 days squared away, essentially that one served. But you got another 25 years. You owe the state, you owe the family for your, your actions of what I'm not unconvinced wasn't even premeditated murder. And I, I, I certainly don't think it's mitigated. I don't think it's a middle of the range. Sentence. I think there were some aggravating circumstances, in particular when you fled the crime scene, not only with a murder weapon, but any realistic opportunity to determine from your perspective whatever occurred. Not that you had an obligation to do that, but your actions after the crime, in particular of removing the murder weapon, I consider a very aggravating circumstances and not making any attempt to make a 911 call on behalf of Mr. Cooper. 